evaporation and boiling. Evaporation is a slow change to vapor which occur at the surface of exposed liquids. It causes cooling of the remaining liquid. A liquid boils when its saturated vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure. Boiling takes place at the boiling point of the liquid. Increased pressure increases the boiling point of a liquid. Also, dissolved substances increases the boiling point of a liquid. Melting is the change from solid state to liquid state. Melting point of a solid is lowered by increasing the pressure on the solid or adding impurities to the solid. Regulation is the melting solidification process which occurs simultaneously when a test wire is meant to pass through a block of ice. Example 1. Which of the following is common to evaporation and boiling? A. Takes place at any temperature. B. A surface phenomena. C. Involves change of state. D. Takes place at definite pressure. The answer to example 1 is obtained by reviewing the options given. Between evaporation and boiling, we know that evaporation takes place at all temperatures, but boiling takes place at a fixed temperature called the boiling point. So option A is wrong, but does not take place at any temperature. A is wrong. Reason. Boiling takes place at a fixed temperature. That's the reason. Let's look at B. That both are surface phenomena. B is wrong. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon, but boiling is not a surface phenomenon. Wrong. Boiling is not a surface phenomenon. C. Both involves change of state of matter, correct? Both involves change from liquid state to vapor state. Correct. Both involves change from liquid to vapor state. Option D. Both takes place at a definite pressure. Run. Both does not take place at a definite pressure. So this is wrong as well. Example 2. A thin wire with heavy weights attached to both ends is hung over a block of ice resting on two supports. If the wire cuts through the ice block, while the block remains solid behind, behind the wire, the process is called dash. A. Fusion B. Sublimation C. Condensation D. Regulation The answer to the second example 
is obtained by assessing the options to see whether they fit into the question or the statement given above. Option A is fusion, which is just change from solid to liquid state. But from the explanation or the statement given above, both melting and freezing or solidification takes place at the same time. So option A is wrong. Option B, sublimation. Sublimation is change from solid state to gaseous state, direct from solid state to gaseous state. It's not melting as indicated in this question. B is wrong. Next, C is condensation. Condensation is changed from vapor state to liquid state, and that is not what is obtainable in this description. So option C is wrong. Next, regulation. This by regulation we mean the melting solidification process that takes place simultaneously as ice passes through a stress or tensed process. So that is exactly what is being described here. So the answer is option D.